Hello everyone. So now, right now, we have already made this particular CMS content, which have, which we have already uh, created just now. So the next thing to do is to test this particular API whether is it able to receive into our into our local project. So by doing that, we need to have like a guaranteed link so that we can actually based on. Okay. So all you know uh, is to go to Postman. Uh, like so, Postman is actually uh, it's a software just so that you are able to test APIs. You can either you can also test the get request, the post request, and so on. So basically, you can either install Postman into your desktop. Like mine, I have actually installed the uh, Postman into my uh, desktop. Or you can also go to Postman.com and then just let me just go to the Postman. And of course, you can actually find more uh, uh, online version of Postman rather than installing it. For example, Postman API platform, you can actually down, you can actually sign up for free, and you can test this particular uh, uh, software. What I'm doing here, I can actually already have this particular, uh, uh, sorry, already have this particular uh, Postman installed locally in my PC. So what what I can do here, I, I would like to test this particular API. Whether will I be able to access this particular uh, API content in the form of JSON format? So just make sure you are actually running this particular uh, uh, Strapi's uh, server on your on your VS Code, as well as uh, you also. So as long as this is running, you are able to test. This particular test would work. So in this case, let's look with so. We, what we can do here, the link to actually to find this particular API is uh, HTTP. No, I mean just and then there's a colon and there's two uh, uh, backstrokes and then just look for localhost one double three seven. And what you can do here, you can actually look for API slash blog and this is what this is the name of the content of our of our strapi so basically this is the strapi's uh, content uh, collection type so this is what we're gonna get from and make sure your request is post i mean guest get is what you're gonna because we are gonna get the get request from this particular uh, api so what you can do here we can actually uh, click on send here Okay, as so you can see here, this, this it says could not send request. So there there might be some little uh, error. For example, uh, localhost one three seven. I mean the actual link for here is actually uh, localhost, and there's a there's a colon here. So just need to copy whatever you you find it here, just so that you're able to be on the right track. Just copy like this. Okay, and followed by API slash blog, and send the get request now as you can see here I just typed send request but in this case it says uh, I mean I did exactly the same but I'm not receiving any data and it says uh, data is null so there might be a something wrong error here the error is actually you need to make your blog the name of your collection name which is in this case it is block here but you need to you need to place it you need to place an s the end of this uh, word because there's a rule in strapi to actually to uh, make your name of your collection to be uh, plural so you're able to retrieve that then this particular request would work so let's give it, give it another try and in this case we're having an s x just an s here so just put an s at the, at the end so and then next let's click on send again And yeah, as you can see here, you are receiving it as a forbidden error. So right now, this is like another. There's another solution for this particular next. This the second problem. So what you can do here, we need to go back to uh, Strapi your CMS here. We need to go to settings, and we need to do some setting. Uh, allow like we need to allow people like public like me to actually access this particular content of the CMS. So what you can do here, I need to go to. Uh, roles 
and go to uh, I mean sorry not roles user and I see it's in roles yeah just going to go to roles and just going to click click on edit public and of course in this case as you can see here we need to we need to click on this and of course you need to select all of this because we are able to create and find update delete and find one so select all and in this case I would like to click on save and let's go back to postman and test it again whether does it work and click on send again and there you go you are able to receive it currently since you are we have just allowed public uh, like me and us to be able you are given an access to them so that's what is this particular settings all about so actually now currently your blog is you are able to read your blog through uh, through this particular a, a link here so that's it for this particular part of the course so thank you guys for watching this part and let's meet in the next episode